everyone is using the makeup puff nowadays. But as a makeup artist, I'm gonna show you five other ways you can use them. So the first one is probably the one you've seen used the more often, which is setting your under eyes. I feel like everyone and their mom is doing it. Um, this technique is super simple. So you take your makeup puff and you apply a small amount of either your compact powder or your loose powder and then puffing out the excess, puffing out, I love that expressions, and um, just setting and putting that powder by pressing it on your skin underneath your eyes just to set that concealer. I personally love this technique and I really like using the Fix Plus on my little puff just to make sure the powder doesn't make my eyes super dry. Number two, as a makeup artist, in my nine years of doing freelance, a lot of my clients used to come to me saying that their compact foundation used to never like stay throughout the day, never was long wearing, they were not happy by the coverage, which by the way, often led them not liking the compact foundation when in reality, it was not the foundation's fault. It's just the brushes that you're using and the technique that you use. Almost 95% or 100% of them used a big brush like this to apply a compact foundation which is great when you're using your compact foundation as a setting powder. But if you're using a compact foundation as your only foundation, then you might wanna use a makeup puff. Using a big brush like this will actually just loosen up your compact foundation. But when you apply your compact powder with a natural puff, it helps the skin and the powder become one the warmness of your skin when you apply and press it on will actually make it hold so remember truth is using a makeup puff is the best way to apply your compact foundation it will also have an even coverage and it will also help the compact foundation last longer i will suggest also adding a setting spray on top of it just to make sure it holds and Fix Plus is always the way to go just because of the glycerin it has in it because it's just gonna make your powder super sticky. So you may wanna apply this before going on with your powder. And this is not sponsored. I just really like this when it comes to powder foundation. It's just a great tool that is so underrated. By the way, tools is the number one thing when it comes to makeup. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on what tools to use and what each makeup brushes are for. Because I've seen crazy stuff on the internet and knowing what tool to use and what each makeup brushes are for will actually change the way you do makeup and improve your makeup techniques so much. So let me know in the comments if you want a video on that. Back to the video. Now, we all seen people all over the internet bake with the makeup puffs and there's other way to define your structures of your face without having to bake. And here's how. So take a small amount of either your compact powder that I, we just used in step number two or just your under eye setting powder. And yes, people sometimes have both. Me, I have both. I have a setting powder and for my under eyes and a setting powder for my entire face but anyway use any powder that you like and then we're gonna press on the little puff on the product and then tap off the excess and with the side of the puff create a small line under your cheekbone and swipe from top to bottom and blend using the makeup puff you don't have to press hard and pack on a bunch of powder this will actually make your makeup look more cakey so just do a small amount of powder that's all you need i just wanted to share with you that a video on how to properly contour your face according to your face shape and your face structure is coming really soon so if you don't want to miss this out make sure to subscribe and yeah back to the video number four this is a probably one of my favorite ways to use the makeup puff because this is something that i'm not seeing a lot of people do and um this technique is so useful for brides but it's also useful for you when you either went overboard or you really are at the almost last step of your makeup and you realize oh I put too much blush or um, I did, overdid it with my contouring, like it's a little harsh. Um, this technique is to blend everything out and makes everything look smooth and seamless. It's kind of like a makeup eraser, if that makes sense. So you can also use it to blend any creasing, any smudging, uh, a bright crying, 
that always help to blend out everything together. This triangle makeup puff is your best friend. Here is how we're gonna do this technique. So example, you put too much blush on. Without reapplying any product on your makeup puff, just slightly go over in circular motion on top of the blush you apply. You can also blend only the edge of the blush, so that's just gonna create more of an ombre effect. If you also have a too harsh bronzer, you can use the exact same technique and that will make your bronzer look more blended. That way you won't have an unblended overall face look. So now that you know how to set your under eye and also know how to repair your mistake when you went overboard with your blush, you also know how to use the right tool to apply your compact foundation and are able to achieve the perfect natural contouring. Well, that will be nice to get the perfect makeup like this, you know, to stay all night, right? So that brings me to my last point, which is the touch-ups on the go. Um, so we all been here wanting to touch up our makeup while we're out and about and uh, freshing up into the bathroom and we have to bring our entire makeup bag to be able to do those touch-ups Seriously, the commitment of having to bring a bigger purse or a bigger bag just to fit the makeup bag I'm not about that life. So just for that reason, I'm gonna give you one of my favorite tips So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our makeup puff We're gonna apply a small amount of powder onto the the puff and then you can Put it in a little bag, either like a teeny Ziploc, and then the only thing you need is your lip liner or lipstick and you'll be good to go. It barely takes any space in your bag. To me, the matte are matting. And the way you're gonna do touch up is the exact same way we use to um, blend over the excess product. It's by going into circular motion and patting motion. You can just reapply a little bit. Um, there's so many ways you can use it on the go. And I feel like this is just the best trick to do those touch up without having to bring your entire makeup bag because that's just not realistic. So as you can see, there are many other ways of using the makeup puff than just the viral makeup trends make you believe. But now I'm curious. I want to know if you've never heard of the makeup puff or only heard of them on social media. I want to know which of the five tips I just gave you surprised you the most. And I also want to know if you've been using a makeup puff. If yes, tell me in the comments what is your go-to ways to use it so we can all share the magic. And again, if you have any makeup questions or makeup tips and tricks that you would like to learn and you would like me to do video about, please leave them in the comments down below. And make sure to hit subscribe because in my next video, I'll be sharing why social media lied to you all these years about how to contour. I'm really hyped because I'm so tired of this viral contouring technique that everyone has been teaching. It is not the right one for you. You know, hit the notification bell to not miss that because I'll be sharing all that information. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.